Good morning everyone and welcome to Dublin, Ireland. I'm so excited to be exploring the Irish capital for the next four days and on today's video I'm going to be sharing my first impressions of the city. I'm going to be going on a free walking tour, visiting Trinity College, trying some Irish food, potentially having a pint of Guinness. So if you're looking forward to the video don't forget to smash your thumbs up and let's get exploring Dublin. Before I do any exploring, I have to get some breakfast as I'm absolutely starving. I had a little bit of a line this morning um, and it's around 10 a.m. now and I'm trying to find a local cafe. No Starbucks, Costa, none of that. I'm trying to find a, yeah, a local cafe. I would love to try an Irish coffee, but I'm not too, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of a coffee, but I'm gonna try and find a chai latte and a pastry or perhaps a bagel and then I'll start exploring. know where I'm going to be completely honest but I was just thinking to myself that's actually such a great feeling visiting a new city for the first time and just walking around and not really having a plan wandering through the different streets recognizing various attractions I've seen from social media um, so yeah I'm really enjoying Dublin so far my first impressions amazing honestly my experience even landing in the airport yesterday the immigration were the most friendliest and most welcoming I've ever come across. I said, welcome Ellie. Um, it was so quick, so easy. Trying to figure out the bus was super easy. The people in the hostel are super friendly. So, so far so good. I really, really like Dublin and I'm very much looking forward to exploring for the next four days. Hi, could I please get a raspberry muffin and a regular chai latte, please? And that's it. So I've just had some breakfast. I had a raspberry muffin and a chai latte and I'm now at Trinity College, which is Ireland's most prestigious and leading university. I've heard so much about it and I'm looking forward to exploring. There are some tours, uh, but I think they cost around, I think it's minimum 15 euros. So I'm just gonna see if I can walk around and not have to do a tour. Maybe look at my phone, see if I can get some information. And then I will of course let you guys know everything I find out about this leading university here in Dublin. So here we are, the Trinity College here in Dublin. Look at it around me. This is genuinely one of the most beautiful and architecturally amazing universities that I have ever seen. It honestly looks like something out of a movie. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna walk around and explore. Like I mentioned, there are some tours, but I'm not gonna go on any of them because I'm trying to keep my costs as low as possible. I'm trying to keep this as a budget trip and also show you guys what you can do for free here in the city, what you can do on a low cost budget, that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm gonna walk around, explore, and uh, yeah, see what I can find. So just a bit of information about Trinity College. It was founded in 1592 and has just under 19,000 students who study here at the university. It's Ireland's most prestigious university and one of the world's leading for research. Um, and yeah, it's been really interesting to sort of compare my university to this university in terms of the buildings and everything like that. So I was curious to see how much a tour to see the Book of Kells would cost and it cost 18 euros 50 which is a shame because I really wanted to see the Book of Kells because it is the oldest book in the world. I was just having a little Google it says the work is the most famous of the medieval illuminated manuscripts for the intricacy, detail and majesty of the illustrations. So yeah, oldest book, it says uh, oldest book in the world so yeah, I'm not going to pay 18 euros 50 but I'm going to 
I'm gonna see where it is. I'm gonna walk to it, and if I change my mind, I'll go inside, but it's quite expensive. So I've now arrived at arguably the most famous place in Dublin to get a pint of Guinness, the Temple Bar. So I put on my Instagram asking uh, for recommendations for the best place to find the best pint of Guinness and pretty much everyone who replied said about the Temple Bar. But I'm not going to have a pint right now because I'm going to do a separate video, which is tomorrow's video, all about where you can find the best pint of Guinness in Dublin. So I'm going to be going to the Guinness storehouse and basically going around the city and trying different pints of Guinness to see, well, compare prices, compare taste. Not that I know much about beer or about Guinness in particular, but I thought it'd be a fun sort of video idea, video concept and a fun activity to do tomorrow in Dublin. So yeah, no, no Guinness for me right now, but that's what is coming in tomorrow's video. Okay, so I've just spent the last 15 or 20 minutes walking around the main shopping street here in Dublin. I got myself a scarf as it's getting really, really cold and I'm a little bit underdressed. I've literally got a t-shirt, this coat, I've got my running leggings on. So yeah, I need something to warm me up a little bit. So I got this scarf, uh, but now it's time for some lunch. It's around 1 p.m. So I'm gonna have some lunch around an hour uh, and then get ready for the free walking tour. It, the meeting point is just by the spire behind me here at 3 p.m. So I'll have a little bit of time to spare after lunch as well but I think I'll just walk around the area uh, where I am right now but um, yeah next stop lunch because I'm absolutely starving okay so I've just come back to my hostel I'm having a quick hour rest then again head back out and go to the free walking tour So I'm now at the meeting point by the spire, as you can see behind me. I'm about five or 10 minutes early and then we should be able to get going. I hope we get some, get going quite soon though because my hands are freezing. The temperature has dropped what feels like quite significantly in the last couple of hours and it's gonna get dark within the next couple of hours. So it's gonna get even colder. So we've started our free walking tour and we're about half an hour in and it's super, super interesting. It's all about, well, it's focusing on the 1916 Easter Rising and everything about the role that Dublin played, the, the events that took place before the uprising, during the uprising. It's really, really interesting. So we're just over halfway through the free walking tour and it's really, really interesting. It's taken me back to studying history at school. I did all about the Irish Troubles, the Easter Rising, and a lot of Irish history actually. Um, but the one thing I do want to also say is just how cold it is. Oh my goodness, it is freezing. I'm literally trying to cover my hands and my coat and my jumper because it's so cold. Um, yeah, it must, be, it must be close to naught degrees. <laughs> literally freezing. I was thinking of going to the Christmas market this evening but I'm not sure. It might have to be tomorrow or the next day because it's yeah it's just too cold tonight. Okay, so I've just finished my free walking tour, which was honestly so, so interesting. It was two hours long. I gave a 10 euro tip uh, because it was just so interesting and uh, our tour guide, Sam, was fantastic. It took me right back to my A-levels, back when I was 18, which is five years ago now. My goodness. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do now is have a quiet evening. I'm gonna do some uni work, some more Glow 360 work, and try and have dinner in the hostel. Uh, so I'm gonna finish the video there. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. Uh, and I hope you're looking forward to the next video, which I mentioned earlier is all about Guinness here in Ireland and finding the best Guinness in the city. Um, so yeah, if you're looking forward to that as well, don't forget to smash the like button and click the subscribe button. And I'll see you for the next video here from Dublin.